Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about another interesting question that comes up sometimes in my coaching sessions. As a business analysis coach, I can work with someone from very junior to very high level to very professional level. And uh, here's an interesting question I got the other day. If you are a beginner to intermediate business analyst, what do you do if you are hired for a new job, you go to this new company and you discover that you are the only business analyst? There is no business analysis team per se and you're kind of on your own. It may be a little bit scary, but what I want to share with you today is that this may be an amazing career development opportunity that maybe you didn't even expect, but now you find yourself in that position. So what I'm going to advise to you may sound a little bit controversial, but hear me out, okay? My suggestion is for this situation is if you find yourself even with not sufficient experience, maybe you don't feel that confident, but if you are the only business analyst in the company or you don't, you find that the company doesn't really have much of the capability, you act as a senior business analyst from day one. Okay. It is possible. It may sound a bit of a stretch goal. It is a stretch goal, but if you find this clear space uh, and perhaps a little bit of a vacuum in terms of business analysis. This is your opportunity to apply those best practices you may have learned in theory. Now you can implement them and there is no one possibly to tell you that's not the way we do it or we've, all, we've never done it this way or we already have templates or no, we're going to tell you what to do. If you find that you have a lot of freedom, perhaps because the new company that you're working for didn't have business analysis function before and maybe this is the first time they hired a BA because they have a new project, you can actually suggest and recommend and start doing things the right way. Okay? So, for example, if you come to this company and you find there's a lot of business terminology flying around and there is no glossary, you can start a business glossary. You can say, as business analyst, I would like to have a business glossary so that we all are using uh, accurate terms and we all understand each other. Start a business glossary. It's very easy. I have another video and a free template that you can use. I'll provide some references for you. Another example is business processes. If perhaps you need to start analyzing a couple of business processes for that new project that you're supposed to work on. You find there is no process documentation. There are no process maps. You can start. Start a business process inventory. Start capturing processes, even if it's at a high level because you're alone and you may not have a lot of time. Even high level process maps are so much better than nothing. And they introduce this culture of process mapping, this culture of process analysis, of using diagrams to support analysis, and most of your stakeholders will appreciate it. Plus, you can right away introduce the templates and the style of modeling that you know well that you like, because you do not have to adapt to things that existed before you. So use whatever best practices you um, have in, in your own portfolio. Another example is meeting facilitation. Your stakeholders may never have been part of a formal discovery session or requirements workshop. You may have only a little experience. You may have learned some of it theoretically or from learning videos, but this is your chance to think through and plan meetings and practice with the stakeholders and try to use those good facilitation techniques that you may have learned about in theory and introduce that practice of working together on problem solving, on requirements analysis, and help your organization build that understanding and appreciation of business analysis. Okay? You can start doing business models. Maybe even two, three simple business models are sufficient for organization that is not necessarily used to using a lot of diagrams. Start with something simple. Create a business use case diagram for your new project. It's very easy. You can do it in half an hour. Most business stakeholders understand it intuitively because it's just a very user-friendly way of depicting things. I have a video and an article that you can also use as well as a free template to create a business use case diagram. You may find that as you start creating these models, 
your stakeholders will very quickly catch on and will start to accept it as a new process, as a new methodology. So you basically can gradually build up business analysis methodology in your organization. Create a simple template. Again, it doesn't have to be very intricate. If you're using business requirements documents, create a simpler template from that. If your company would like to uh, use more a user story driven approach, start with the user story map, very easy to create. Can you just use sticky notes or little boxes and it helps everyone to see how you use this tool for planning requirements, for planning your project, for planning your uh, product. You may find that even if your company is working with an external vendor, for example, if uh, you're working on an RFP, you're thinking of acquiring the product or getting a COTS product implemented, um, your activities at helping organize your documentation, understanding of the pain points and key needs of your organization, your vendors will appreciate it and probably compliment your company on seeing this business analysis capability comes through. Now, I realize that what I'm saying may sound a little scary if you have not worked alone as a business analyst, if you were always part of the team or had someone senior you could go to and suddenly you cannot. Remember, even if you're all alone in your organization, you're not alone in the profession. There are people outside that you can uh, ask for help. You can work with a mentor. You can reach out to your business analysis community, ask questions. You can read articles, watch videos. For example, I also run a BA Mindset Mentorship Circle where we have a circle of business analysts and we talk about different topics every week so we share our experiences with each other. So you can always find a community outside of your company to get help if you need some advice on practices, modeling or facilitation challenges or a particular stakeholder challenge. But then you come back to your organization, go back to work next day, and you act as a senior business analyst. You try to recommend the best way. You work with your stakeholders with confidence. You introduce new things. And you try to show them the value of your activities, the value of business analysis. It may be on a small scale, of course, if you are just one person. But again, if you're organized, if you use your time well, that can be pretty good uh, benefit you can try to promote more the value of business analysis to you in your organization and by the way i have a whole series of videos about that as well that i'll share with you you never know if you were to do that maybe your company will realize that it is valuable it helps them to save time for example in preparing for rfp it may even help companies save money if you are providing business analysis and capturing requirements instead of having to pay an external consulting company for everything because you do not have a BE in-house. So you may actually be saving part of the budget during this preparation phase or RFP phase or requirements analysis phase. You may provide a very clear value in terms of improved communication, in terms of capturing uh, results of meetings, uh, keeping track of business terminology or metrics or providing clear requirements for analytics. So as long as you start to show that value to your company, they might decide to hire another business analyst. And in that situation, you automatically have a benefit of seniority because you are already in place. You have started, you have introduced the methodologies, you have started to use templates. So you basically are at the found, created the foundation for this BE practice. And if your company wants to hire another business analyst, you probably have a good chance to be promoted to senior position, whether official or unofficial. Okay? So what I want to convey to you today is that even if it's scary, it may be an amazing opportunity to accelerate your career because sometimes we end up being in that intermediate BA position for years because there is no place to move in your company. If there is, say, one senior position and it's taken and that person perhaps isn't interested in moving anywhere. But if you are going into this new company, you have a good chance of a faster career path and perhaps promotion path provided that you establish yourself, that you show the value and then you show confidence. So one of the things you need to think about is how to build up your confidence because sometimes 
we have those theoretical skills, we have a bit of knowledge, we have tried to learn different things, but because we don't have enough actual BE experience in a senior position, we feel a little bit less confident. But again, it was the right motivation, was the right knowledge, with the right attitude as you go every day to start your job you can overcome it and you can build up your confidence because you see hey i'm doing a good job i'm trying to do my best here is a quality document here is how i improve communication with stakeholders people actually respond to me and they provide me with information they're buying into this whole thing about analysis they understand why we are doing it so as you continue doing that you will become more confident and you will actually become more senior. You will grow because you are in this, that situation where it's, you know, sink or swim. You have to swim. Otherwise, you may not be able to, to continue. But if you swim, if you swim hard, you will be able to grow faster. So finally, to wrap it up, if you find yourself alone in an organization that doesn't have much business analysis capability, you're the only business analyst, from the very first day, act as a senior BA. Check out the comments to this video for lots of resources that are there to help you and also another large video I have on how to become a senior business analyst and best of success.